Robin Oig, he said when it was done, ye are a great piper, I am not fit to blow in the same kingdom with ye. Body of me, ye have more music in your sporran than I have in my head. Hello. So we're back after three weeks break, three and a half weeks break, down there, Rob Roy's grave. Been a wonderful day. Uh, actually, Robin Oig's grave. So, the Master Piper, we've actually seen where he lies. He's a rather small man, I think. And um, I've had Andy with me all day. It's been delightful. Mm. Although, hello Andy. Although slightly disappointed that he hasn't actually read the book. He's read a graphic novel. So here we are at Rob Roy's grave with Andy. Hello Andy. Hello. It's a great like despite them. <laughs> it's like Piccadilly Circus here. <laughs> it's lots and lots of people. When and when will they leave us alone? <laughs> going to recite a poem. <laughs> I'm a bit embarrassed now. Or indeed, like a posh English wanker, which is the only welcome back I got on YouTube, until, um, until I was then likened to Kevin MacLeod, who isn't he a posh English wanker? So here's Andy. Hello. Hello. How are you enjoying the uh, kidnap trail? Very good so far. Three kilometres in. Hmm. One piece of cake. For lunch. <laughs> cup of coffee. Lunch, coffee, cake, and another three kilometres. It's tough here, it. isn't it? Yeah, that's about it. Join us as we travel all the way down to Edinburgh now in what is only four days, I think, four or five days. So we're going to travel quite fast off not a lot of text. Uh, just in one chapter, we're going to get pretty much all the way there. So you're pleased to hear not much reading, maybe. Uh, more countryside, beautiful countryside, uh, and a lot of discussion. So you had a nice lunch then? Very nice. Haggis. <laughs> you had haggis. Chattis. <laughs> you didn't just have haggis though, did you? Minister in his suit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hail. Hail as well. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to have for your dinner then? Oh. Haggis. I've got some shortbread in my rucksack if you're a bit, if you, you know, get a bit hungry. All right for an hour. <laughs> an hour. Oh, I don't find, I, probably on the, in the graphic novel version you didn't notice this, but in the, in the book itself, the book that you read. The one with words? Yeah. Yeah. They don't eat very much. No, they don't actually, do they? Do you drink a lot though? Brandy. Hannikins of ale. Yeah. But not a lot of food. They're, no. not, they're not eating like you eat. No. <laughs> I'm hoping to lose weight by eating exactly the same amount of calories as you. <laughs> now you told me that your dad was very keen on this book, Kidnapped. And yet, yeah. you even now, you refuse to read it and take the graphic novel version. <laughs> what have you got against your dad's enthusiasm for this book? trying to press it into my hands. I was a young man feeling everything with the intensity of a romantic poet. I was reading Alain de Recherche de la Tempe du, and here was my vulgar father trying to press an action adventure into my hand that just didn't seem right. Did he not think you were manly enough? Did he <laughs> think you were a bit of a ponce? <laughs> Maybe if, yes. Was he trying to encourage me? Trad Jazz and uh, Robert Louis Stevenson. Or was it Treasure Island? They do that, don't they, Dad? They yeah. press, on, press their what they liked onto their kids. You'll yeah. like this. It'll be a bit tricky, but you'll enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So what's the one you'd press on to your kids then? That you'd say, no, you ought to read this. It's really good. Well, when I was your age, I yeah. really liked it. That's a good question. Have you ever done that? Yeah, I mean, I do buy the girls' books, but um, possibly slightly different to what I was reading at their age. I'm talking about ballet shoes, Noel Stretfield's ballet shoes. I yes, that was good. I bought that for Billy May recently on the basis of my sister really enjoying it, all that series. But that worked, did it? And that worked, yeah, yeah. And I read it for the first time with her uh, and really enjoyed it. Well, that's, a good, it is. that's a good example. Yeah. Although that came out of the tele TV show as well? I noticed the TV show was on and it triggered my uh, memory of uh, my mother and sister liking them. This is the poem my mum sent me. 
and uh, here we are with Rob Roy's grave. O to mount again where erst I haunted, where the old red hills are bird enchanted, and the low green meadows bright with sward, and when even dies the million tinted, and the night has come and planets glinted, lo the valley hollow, lamp the starred. O to dream, O to awake and wander, there and with delight to take and render through the trance of silence. Quiet breath. Lo, for there among the flowers and grasses, only the mightier movement sounds and passes, only winds and rivers, life and death. You're saving your it's good socks for longer yeah, distance. Show you when we get in, yeah. <laughs> so you've done one. You've done. Well, you've done one leg where it's strata. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, How are you feeling? Like a cider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Feet slightly achy. Yeah. Yeah. Wearing the boots. And, of course, my foot is broken. It's left oh. I wondered when you were going to bring yeah, that one out. Yeah, it's actually oh. technically broken. Yeah. And I have a subcutaneous haemoglobin. Oh, God, right, there's a graphic novel about it, why don't you? So, for the last four days, it would be very pleasing if all those who've joined in so far just joined us one more time, either through Twitter or Flickr or YouTube, the YouTube, um, and let us know what you think about this marvellous book whether you have any particular views, particularly about this idea of why somebody posh in English would want to engage in Scottish culture in this way. I'm still trying to work that out. I think it's because I just really like this book. I also really love this landscape. And that's where it starts and ends. I've realised now why that YouTube guy called me a posh English wanker. <laughs> yes and said, we don't talk like that. I don't that. think he was criticising the whole video. Is that just right at the front of it, I um, talk about, I've gone a bit mad on Rannick Moore, and I'm fantasising about brandy collips and a game of cards. And I do slip into yeah. a very poor Scottish accent. Ah, I see. Which I think that Best might avoided. be the problem. I see. But I shouldn't have done that. Was it like, cup of cocoa? <laughs> Is that yours? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we might be getting another yeah. comment on the YouTube. <laughs>